Hello friends, in the before videos on hypothesis testing, we had seen hypothesis test for comparing one sample with the target for continuous data. In this video, we are going to learn first hypothesis test for comparing one sample with the target for attribute data, that is one sample percentage defective or one proportion test. In Minitab software, with the help of practical example for easy understanding and better clarity. So let's begin. One proportion test. Use one proportion test to estimate a binomial population proportion and to compare the proportion to a target value or a reference value. Using this analysis, you can do the following when your data contain only two categories such as pass or fail. One, to determine whether the population proportion differs from the hypothesized proportion that you have specified and to calculate a range of values that is likely to include the population proportion. For example, a marketing analyst wants to determine whether mailed advertisements that were sent to a random sample of households results in a response rate that is different from the national average of 7.2 percentage that is the target value. If the proportion differs from the target value, the analyst can use the confidence interval to determine whether the difference is practically significant. Hypothesis for one proportion test. For a one proportion test, the hypotheses are as follows. Null hypothesis H0 colon P is equal to P0. That is, the population proportion P equals to the hypothesized proportion P0. Alternative hypothesis. Select one of the following alternative hypothesis. H1 colon P is not equal to P0. That is, the population proportion P differs from the hypothesized proportion P0. Or H1 colon P is greater than P0. That is, the population proportion P is greater than the hypothesized proportion P0. Or H1 colon P is less than P0. That is, the population proportion P is less than the hypothesized proportion P0. Data considerations for one proportion test. To ensure that your results are valid, consider the following guidelines when you collect the data, perform the analysis and interpret your results. 1. The sample data should be selected randomly. In statistics, random samples are used to make generalization or inferences about a population. If your data is not collected randomly, your results may not represent the population. 2. Each observation should be independent of all other observations. The independence of observation is determined by whether one observation provides information about another observations, as follows. If an observation provides no information about the value of another observation, the observations are independent. But if an observation provides information about another observation, the observations are dependent. If your observations are dependent, your results may not be valid. 3. The data can contain only two categories, such as pass or fail and 1 or 0. If your data contain counts, such as number of defects per unit, use one sample poison rate. And 4. Determine appropriate sample size. Your sample should be large enough so that the following are true. The estimates have enough precision. The confidence intervals are narrow enough to be useful. And you have adequate protection against type 1 and type 2 errors. To determine the appropriate sample size for your hypothesis test, go to power and sample size for one proportion. I have already explained the detailed procedure for it in the general procedure to conduct hypothesis testing. If you want to see it, please click on this card. Example of one proportion test. A marketing analyst wants to determine whether mailed advertisements for a new product results in a response rate different from the national average of 7.2 percentage. A random sample of 978 households is selected to receive advertisements. Out of 978 household samples, 93 make a purchase after receiving the advertisement. The analyst performs a one proportion test 
to determine whether the proportion of household that made a purchase is different from the national average of 7.2 percentage an analyst then follows the steps for doing a hypothesis test in line with general procedure conduct a one proportion test in minute app one select stat basic statistics and then one proportion two from the drop down list select summarize data if your data is not summarized then use an option of one or more samples each in a column enter the column of data that you want to analyze the column must contain two distinct values such as true and false if the column contains text then minitab uses the word that is second in alphabetical order to represent the event also called as success for example in this worksheet purchase indicates whether a household made a purchase after receiving an advertisement because it is second in alphabetical order minitab uses yes as the event 3 in number of events enter 93 4 in number of trials enter 978 5 select perform hypothesis test 6 in hypothesis proportion enter 0.072 7 in options the confidence level is 0.95 alternative hypothesis as proportion is not equal to hypothesis proportion and method as exact as a default keep them as it is and it click okay in each dialog box to get the results we will get the results of an analysis in the session window interpretation of results the null hypothesis states that the proportion of households that make a purchase equals to 0.072 because the p value is 0.008 which is less than the significance level of 0.05 the analyst rejects the null hypothesis the results indicate that the proportion of household that make a purchase is different from the national average of 7.2 percentage the sample proportion value is 0.095 indicates that the current proportion of household that make a purchase is higher than the national average of 7.2 percentage this is all about one proportion test with the help of practical example we will see the next one sample hypothesis test with a practical example in the next video for references i have taken some part of this very detailed content from minitab now to end please like this video if you have found it useful add your valuable comments and share this video to your friends and colleagues to improve and refresh their knowledge if you want to get updates of such a videos from my channel please do not forget to subscribe it and click on the bell icon and select to get all notifications and finally thank you for watching